So everybody knows Ballantyne. It's one of the largest suburban districts in all of South Charlotte. Some people may even say that it's already peaked as far as development, but that's not necessarily true. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Ballantyne area, old Ballantyne and new Ballantyne. Now, like I said before, some people may think that Ballantyne or the Ballantyne area has peaked as far as development, but that's definitely not true. But first and foremost, we're gonna take a look at the old part of Ballantyne so we can move on to the new. And we're gonna start out in one of the notorious neighborhoods in all of Ballantyne, Ballantyne Country Club. So in Ballantyne Country Club, you're definitely gonna be in the luxury price point, but with that price, you're gonna get a ton of amenities, okay? Golf course, pool, fitness center, tennis courts, and so much more. Now, as far as the housing goes, you're gonna get massive homes, but you're gonna be in that million dollar price point or more, all right? Privacy, big lots, and proximity to everything that Ballantyne has to offer right up the street. So the next stop on our old side of Ballantyne is a massive development in Ballantyne called Stone Creek Ranch. Okay, one of the largest developments on this side of town. It was actually so large, it had to be broken up into three parts. And that's where you're gonna get a ton of diversity. You're gonna get townhomes in here, single family and luxury single family, which is the side of the community that we're on right now. Now, price per square foot in here varies anywhere from $192 all the way up to $251. 32 homes in here sold last year, with the top price point being about 925,000, but that was for a 5,000 square foot house. So you're gonna get a ton of variety in this particular community. Not to mention, it's extremely walkable. All right, you get a ton of amenities, including community pools and walking trails, which we're on right now. And you get proximity to Waverly. So we talked about old Ballantyne. What's new that's coming to Ballantyne? Well, I'm standing right in front of it. This is Ballantyne reimagined. So Ballantyne in general is synonymous with being an economic driver for the South Charlotte area. Ballantyne reimagined is just adding to that. This is the next phase of what Ballantyne is going to become eventually. You've got sustainability, you've got walkability, you've got urbanity. You're gonna be able to live here. There's gonna be a restaurant district, all right, so you can go out and get a great meal. There's gonna be a retail district, all kinds of shopping. Old Mecklenburg Brewery is putting their flagship store here. Going out and having a patio beer is gonna take on a whole new meaning. This area is going to be fantastic. All right, Tower View is gonna have 212 luxury apartments, high-rise apartments, folks. You're gonna be able to live in this space. You'll have a restaurant district. You'll have a retail district. There is a six acre stream park, meaning that water is gonna run around it all the way. There's a huge amphitheater that's going in right now. I can literally see it from here. Fantastic space. So the last stop on our Ballantine tour is actually on the new side of Ballantine. We're gonna talk about Waverly. So we just talked about Ballantine Reimagined. Well, now we're in Waverly. These two spaces were designed to basically bring people together. Live, work, play is a huge theme as far as everything is concerned here. You have everything, restaurants, you've got retail, you've got play spaces for kids, you have anything and everything, all types of amenities that you would ever want. So a couple of my favorite spots in Waverly are definitely Cafe Mocha. We're right beside Ted's, Foxcroft, and Yama for sushi is fantastic. So one of the fantastic things about this area is not only the fact that you're gonna have retail and shopping right from where we just were, you have a great variety of large homes that are right behind the shopping center. So David Weekly came in and did a awesome job putting these homes together. So the townhome options you're gonna have in here are gonna run anywhere from 400 to 500,000. Now the houses behind me, you're gonna be in the 700, maybe even 800 range as far as those go. But the great thing about them is the convenience. You literally can walk from the shopping center down here or vice versa. You can go have a great meal over at Tiz, like we discussed, or you can have a glass of wine at Foxcroft. This area really is a mecca for convenience. I mean, you've got a CVS, you've got childcare opportunities, you've got restaurants, but I mean, you can do anything. You really don't have to leave this entire mile radius at all. 
So that concludes our tour of both Old and New Ballantyne. It's honestly amazing to me that nobody has talked about this fantastic area of Waverly. But hey, if you have questions or need information, be sure to reach out to the expert. For now, I gotta go handle some more showings.